Hey, what's up, guys? I'm um, just doing a quick recap of week 14 picks. I did a little more studying, so I thought I'd make a quicker video than the last video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, so I'm just going to go dive right into it. Uh, Dallas against Bears. I like Dallas here to win. Uh, spread, you could take it too. Maybe you make a minus two and a half just so you don't get a push. I believe the first game that Dak had against Bears, he won. And that game, Zeke Elliott went for over 100 yards, I believe. I think if it is a um, bad weather they're gonna i hope they stick to the run game uh atlanta against carolina this is a game i'm not gonna put on my let's say good ticket i don't trust either team they're both shit teams honestly no faith the only stat i have on this game is um matt ryan now i believe is eight and one against carolina i think he was six and one or seven and one last time they faced each other and when atlanta won like demolish Carolina and Carolina and now they're at home Atlanta if they have Julio Jones back and uh, just what's his name they have Freeman is back as well I'm pretty sure uh, I don't know about Austin Hooper if he's back that's a big bonus too I actually don't want him back because of my fantasy I want uh, uh, Freeman to be taking all the touchdowns um, yeah um, Ridley is not 100% so Calvin Ridley so that's a could hurt them uh but i'm going on stats so i know matt ryan loves being in carolina so i'm gonna say atlanta money line but this is a game i will say don't bet too much on honestly guys uh but i now the baltimore against buffalo bills Buff, baltimore is on fire um but based on some stats i read uh, the last seven matches between these two teams the home team has always won i believe baltimore in the last two times they've been to buffalo they are on two um stats don't lie so i mean they could break that stat i wouldn't be shocked so in this situation i'm gonna say take buffalo spread okay take buffalo spread or even add points go plus 10 and a half i don't see baltimore blowing buffalo away at home buffalo at home they have a, actually they actually have a very legit defense guys a very legit defense and if they win i wouldn't be shocked either just because on the stats i'm talking about uh, I really don't hope that because I, I, I need Lamar to score mad points. So I hope it's a high-scoring game, guys. I really do. What's the spread? 43 also. It's gonna, I, I'm praying it's going to be a high-scoring game. I need uh, Lamar with the points for my fantasy. All right, next, uh, Browns against Cleveland. This is just like the other game. Atlanta, Carolina, two shit teams. I mean, one is just have both are shit, honestly. Like, especially the coaches. I mean, I don't have any faith in either of them and baker mayfield might not be 100 uh this whole team is <sighs> is banged up look at this oh my god um i'm gonna say the spread is too much even though cleveland loves playing cincinnati for some reason um baker loves beating this team um cleveland needs the window so let's see if they're going to come out. But I really hope they lose, honestly, guys. I'm not going to touch the spread. If I take money line, I'll just go Cleveland. I don't see them losing. But I hope they lose, honestly, just because Freddie Kitchens need to go, man. They they ruined the season, honestly, guys. What a f joke. They cost people money back and forth. I don't even, like, they barely covered the spread against Miami, if you remember, guys. And the spread was 10, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I'm like leaning towards Bengals cover here. Uh, is AJ Green still out? <laughs> oh wow, he's ruled out already. I guess they don't want to play him. They want to trade him. That's the plan. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the spread here for Bengals. Maybe add points and make a plus 12 and a half. You could take Cleveland minus three or money line. Um, yeah. Uh, Green Bay against Washington. So, based on stats, uh, Washington has a good record against Green Bay at home. But in Green Bay, they haven't won since 1988, if I'm not mistaken, or 2000. Something like that, man. Like, I love Green Bay here, guys. Um, I'm going to say spread is what right now? It was still minus 13, so it hasn't moved. People are on Washington because they beat Carolina. They beat... Who else they beat? Carolina and Detroit. Come on, man. Uh, it's Aaron Rodgers at home. Uh, Washington has a want there in years. I'm going to say make it a minus 6.5 to be safe, guys. 
I mean, I would be shocked if Green Bay covers the spread all of it. But go minus six and a half to be safe, so a touchdown. Uh, or you could go Washington plus 19. Both pays well uh, to be safe for the spread. But Green Bay is winning outright. Um, Denver against Texans. This is another game, honestly. Like Texans, a very weird team. Uh, I remember, who was it? They lost to Carolina. Um, so I'm going to say Denver's defense is really good. Um, so in this situation, based on the defense. Okay, um, yeah. Both have bad deep rushing running game. Hmm. So Houston really hasn't blown out teams, guys. Like, l literally. I think that spread is too much, if you ask me. I'm going to go Denver plus... Let's add five points. So 14 and a half. Denver plus 14 and a half spread. Or you could go Houston money line or minus, I'm going to say, three and a half. So by four points. I just think that spread is iffy. Like, I wouldn't be shocked if Houston blows this team out. Depends on how bad um, how bad is uh, Drew Locke going to be. Uh, Houston's defense actually played really good against um, um, New England. If they play like that, I mean, they could easily cover the spread. Even by more, if anything. So I would go lean towards Houston more of like where you should buy points, guys. All right. Uh, next, uh, Vikings in Detroit. I think that spread is too much. Vikings played Monday night. It's a short week. Matthew Stafford should be back. If he isn't, then you know what I mean? You could take Minnesota minus seven, a touchdown. I just think that spread is too much. Uh, I think Detroit covers here. I don't know when Minnesota has been favored by that much and they have covered. Think about it, guys. I remember the last time they were favored by, what was it, 10 against Denver? They barely won that game. So I'm going to say it's a division game. As bad as Detroit is, I don't trust Minnesota on a short week to win by 14. And I don't trust um, Kirk Cousins at all. So I'm going to say Detroit plus 17. Um, but Minnesota to win, obviously, money line. Um, Saints against 49ers. Um, this is a tough game, guys. I believe they used to play in the same division before San Francisco moved to, um, the NFC West. Um, I hate going against Saints at home. I really do, guys. Even though San Francisco defense has been good and now they're on the road again. I'm going to take Saints money line here. I, I know I said in my other video for an upset, but I just can't go against Saints at home. Unless if San Francisco wins this game, then they're the real deal, guys. But I just can't see Saints at home losing. It's just they're a different animal at home. Uh, Jets against Miami. Miami's like won four in a row against Jets, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, four in a row. Um... Uh, I don't trust either team. This is another team to the game. I wouldn't put on my favorite tickets. Both teams are shit if you ask me. If I have to take the spread, I'm taking Miami to cover, guys. That's a gift. Miami has been covering the spread, guys. Honestly, the only spread they didn't cover against was against Cleveland. And we kind of flopped on that last week. Um, on the hype of Philly to cover. The Come on, man. Like, I should have known better. Um... Miami has been covering. They're probably, I think they're like 7 and 1 against the spread, if I'm not mistaken, in the last seven games. And Jets haven't looked great. They scored six points against the Bengals, guys. Come on. Are you kidding me? Uh, if I take the, I'm, if I do anything, I'm going to take Jets' money line. Only because um, maybe Adam Gase finally decides to get revenge. Like, really? Can he finally get his revenge? Because I thought he's going to do it in Miami, but he literally put in his pants. So let's see if he does it at home. Um, I I will go Miami plus eight to cover. Uh, Jets money line, if you like. Tampa Bay against Colts. 
Honestly, it all depends if Colts offense gets back to health. If they're not, I would go on take Tampa Bay. And it looks like finally Benetary is going to be benched. So they're using this excuses as he's injured. This guy is the worst fucking kicker. He cost me two tickets this this year. Um, so if, if Hilton is back and if uh, um, Mac is back, I say take Colts to cover because they do have the better defense and better coaching, if you ask me. But Tampa's on a roll right now, and I can't go against teams that are on a roll. Uh, that's just against my gambling. Um, so if those two guys are back, you could take the spread or even add points, which I always do. I would probably make it plus seven for Colts. I don't see Tampa winning big at home. They're f one and four at home, if I'm not mistaken. And the lone win came against Arizona. And they could have lost that game too, honestly. So in this situation, if those guys are back, I go Colts. If they're not, jump on Tampa. Uh, Chargers against Jacksonville. I <laughs> Two horrible teams again. I wouldn't spend too much money on this game. Don't put them on a lot of tickets, guys, please. I made that mistake with the Chargers last week against Denver. Do not do that mistake. Gardner Minshew is back to the quarterback. Uh, Nick Foles is benched. I think that's not good for <clears throat> the team. Now, people are questioning the coaching. And if I, if I see any turnover, guys, I'm saying Chargers going to blow out this team. I wouldn't be shocked. Uh, even though they had a bad loss last week against Denver. I, I like Chargers here. That's where I'm going at right now. But it all depends how Jacksonville comes out and starts the game. If they fall behind or if there's a turnover, I think it's over. The Chargers win comfortably. Uh, Steelers against Arizona. I'm surprised the spread is only two and a half. I don't know why. Maybe Cardinals have a good record against them. I don't understand. Like Steelers defense is no joke, guys. And we saw what Rams defense did to Kyler Murray. And I don't think Kyler Murray is 100%, guys. I really don't. He looked out of it last game. I'm not saying Steelers are going to blow out this team. But they should have Juju Smith-Schuster back and Connor back, maybe. Even if they don't, I think they should win this game. Um, Chiefs against Patriots. Depends how healthy Patriots are. They were all sick last week, if I'm not mistaken. They took two different buses to the game. That was a point where I thought Houston would win, and I did bet on Houston, actually. Um, can Chiefs, can Patrick Mahomes finally win a game against Tom Brady? We will see. I mean, it's going to be... Oh, man. It all depends how the defense plays, man. If they play like Houston did, then I believe in Chiefs offense more. I really do, guys. If because if I see New England fall behind, I don't like they don't look good offensively, guys. Like and I hate going against Tom Brady. I really do. And he's two and zero against Patrick Mahomes now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe Chiefs get revenge. We'll see. And Reed, man, he's so bad against teams that know how to play against him. So I can't trust him. In this case, I'm going to say New England money line Chiefs spread. Or even go Chiefs plus seven. I just, until they beat New England, I can't really back them up. Like, I love Patrick Mahomes. I love this Kansas City. I want him to go far. But I just can't trust Andy Reid against, like, I don't know what happens to this guy when it comes to teams that has his number. So we'll see. Tennessee against Oakland. Tennessee's been looking awesome, guys. Like, they've been looking good. We all know that. But Oakland, remember, it's been on the road for a while now. They're finally home again. Another tough home game. I, I hate picking Oakland because they're another shit team, in my view. But at home, they're a different team. Um, I can't, like, it's tough, man. Like, it's tough. I'm going to say Oakland plus 7 or even the spread. I wouldn't be shocked if Oakland went straight up. So don't bet a lot of Tennessee, guys. That's my advice. This is another game you shouldn't bet too much money on. You shouldn't put them on a lot of tickets. Just watch out. Okay? All right. Next, uh, Rams against Seahawks. Um, I feel like Rams come back for the upset here. I mean, for the win. Uh, I don't know how they're underdog at home. I understand why, actually. But it's a short week for Seahawks. They're 6-0 and on the road. It, they're due for a loss, I think. Um, I hate going against Russell Wilson. 
they've been playing really good, honestly. Um, that's the Seahawks, especially on the road. Damn. But, like, mm, I, 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 I got to go with the Rams here, guys. You could go either way. It's honestly a coin flip, if you ask me. It really is a coin flip game. So if you like go maybe Rams plus four. I mean the spread was what was it? One and a half it started? Yeah. So I'll go plus four for Rams. Money line, honestly, you could go either way, but I'm leaning towards Rams. I think they've gotten a little bit healthier. Yeah, they got in a little bit healthier. So I just can't go against them here again. They should have won the game in Seattle. They lost. I mean, both teams are going to come in thinking, you know what, we won fair and square and where we lost. They're both going to try to win. It just depends which coach outplays the other coach. So I'm going to go. It's going to be a close game, guys. You could buy plus points for both teams, plus four, whichever team you like. They should cover. Money line is hard. Honestly, it's hard. I would have boxed that game. Okay, and last game, but not least. Two shit teams against Eagles, but Eagles should win this game. Honestly, Giants defense, coaching, everything is just shit. Can't be shittier than Philly. I mean, Philly at home, they better win this game. It's a must-win game. Even though, I think next week they're facing... Oh, no, they're facing... Yeah, it is a division game. They're, they are facing Washington. Okay, guys. Uh, I would say go Philly minus four. Or depends how healthy Giants get. If Giants get any healthier, see how the team is doing. You could take the spread for Giants. I just don't trust the Eagles to cover big spreads. I mean, at home they could because the defense plays just a different level. Maybe the defense responds to what happened. I think most teams do respond after a bad loss. So I'm going to say Philly to, you know, minus four. Okay. And to win straight up. All right, guys. Good luck. Uh, I might make another video probably tomorrow night or Friday. Until then, cheers.